Hi everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here, and in today's video we'll be looking at a Chrome extension crypto wallet called Blade Wallet. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so bladewallet.io is their main website. The link to that will be in the description below, along with a few other links, which we'll just talk about quickly before we jump straight into it. So one link is for my own website where you'll find a tutorial on what we're doing today, which is uh, essentially installing a Chrome extension and having a look, setting up a wallet and having a look at some of the features. And also you'll find a link to a blog page on the HBAR Foundation, which talks a little bit more about the support that they've received from the HBAR Foundation. But let's start that website. Reading straight from the screen here, it says Blade is more than just a wallet. It's a portal to Web3. It is your gateway to cryptocurrency exchanges, NFT marketplaces, gaming in the metaverse, and much more. There's a lot more going on than just being a crypto wallet. So I come across this um, this wallet some time ago. They had some funding from or a grant from the HBAR Foundation, as did I. So I've known about them for quite some time. I've set myself up with a wallet. I'm really impressed with the application and I urge you to take a look and set yourself up and just have a play. So that's what we'll be doing today. But before I jump into it, let's have a little look at the HBAR Foundation. Um, so they received some funding from the foundation to help with the launch, but also to support them with feature releases in the um, months after launch and they're still going on now. So if you look at their Twitter page, link to which is in the description below, you can see that they're forever releasing uh, new features and they've got a great following and it's a great project to um, get involved with. So just take a look, spend some time, have a read and if you're interested, just get yourself set up. So. Let's have a look and uh, install the Chrome extension. So if we jump into my page here, so it's decoding.com slash tutorial slash getting started with Blade, you can see that we're gonna be installing the Google Chrome extension and then creating a wallet and checking out some of the features. So this is the link here, which is chrome.google.com and blah, 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 blah. So click that. I won't be referencing, I'll be referencing the page, but I won't be going backwards and forwards to the um, to the tutorial because we'll be creating a video. If you don't like watching videos to learn or um, figure out things out, then just have a look at my website, right? So this is the link. Where, is it? Where are we? This is the link. It takes you through to chrome.google.com and this is the page. So it gives you a little bit more information about um, Blade Wallet. So we've got here Blade Wallet's the fastest growing, best in class security audited Web3 wallet on the Hedera network. I didn't mention, it's built on the Hedera network. I'm a big fan of Hedera, as you already know. So transact with your favorite Hedera tokens, manage your NFT portfolio, enjoy play to earn gaming, and so much more with Blade Wallet. Like I said, there's a lot going on. So let's start. All you click is add to Chrome. Click on add extension, and that one. Think about it for a couple of seconds there. You can see the bottom of my screen probably. There you go. So it's doing what it needs to do. And then there we have it. Right, it's now been added. You can't remove it if you choose to. But if you remove it, um, it will remove all the data. So you need to remember about seed phrases and things like that. So let's click X there. It's a little, if you can see that on the screen, yeah, just about a little jigsaw piece there. If you click that, you can have a look at all your extensions. You can see I've got a couple of wallets in here. But Blade is there, clicking that, and it will open up. I will actually redirect you to uh, welcome.bladewallet.io, but that is not the extension, that is just a link. So come off that, go back on the jigsaw, click on Blade, and that will now open up the extension. So let me, let's see if this makes it look a bit better, or bigger, shall I say. Uh, it's always the same size. No problem at all. So what you need to do is select your language on um, English, as you know, so let's get started. You need to enter a, uh, so if, you, if you're creating a wallet, sorry, you've got advanced setup. So if you needed to um, restore a wallet from a seed phase, that's where you do it, but we're gonna create from new. So you need to add a password. So Create wallet. So click agree terms and conditions and create wallet. Now it will come up with, uh, well, it's just thinking about some stuff there. There we go. So it's now, it's gone about and it's created a wallet, right? It hasn't given you anything, any details about your wallet ID or anything like that. It just starts with a seed phrase. I can't emphasize this enough. 
save your seed phrase. You will need it if you want to restore your wallet. Without your seed phrase, you'll lose your wallet. Simple as that. So you need to click, I have saved my recovery phrase. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to drop that in my notepad, which is on the other screen. And then click next. Oh, click next. Okay. That's it, that's what you've got to do. So it's created a wallet, right? I've got an account ID, so a wallet ID, and I'll blur this out. There'll be a lot of blurring in this video. I don't want you to see any of my seed phrase or my wallet ID, but that's it, go to your wallet. Very, very easy to set up, I found. Um, it, it'll then tell you how to perform a backup. Um, you'll need to do that. You need to just make a note of your seed phrase and things like that. So we don't want to show this again, acknowledge. And that's it, this is, Blade Wallet, so you've got a few options at the bottom here. History will show you the history of your transactions. Obviously, ours will be empty. I've only just set this wallet up. A bit about the account, so you've got the account number. So you click the little um, key there. You can click show private key. So the private key is basically a uh, encrypted version of your seed phrase. Um, I've saved my recovery, uh, recovery credentials back to my wallet. You then got transfer, you can transfer Hedera coins, so you can transfer coins in, you can transfer them to other wallets, and you've got contacts, that's if you save contacts to your wallet. Um, but you've got all sorts going on. If you're on the menu here, you've got add a token, you've got sign transactions, you've got wallet settings, all sorts of stuff. So, like I say, this is a relatively new project. Um, so in the coming months, uh, actually, one second. There we go, I didn't have their Twit feed open on my page. So uh, this is their Twit page, right? So um, in terms of feature releases, there's a lot of activity on their, on their Twitter. Uh, they're releasing new bits and pieces all of the time. So um, it's a rock solid project already. You can do a lot as it is, but you can see here that um, our goal is to change the future of finance today. We're one step closer. So Blade Wallet is no longer in beta mode. So we're now completely live. So that's all good, that's from July the 8th. But you can see, you know, we've got loads of stuff going on. It's talking about all of the different feature releases that are, bit, that are coming and have already been released. So check out their Twitter, link to that is in the description below. So um, I said I'll keep referencing my webpage. That it's got all of the steps we just followed through. So just by all means, have a look on my website, have a play with Blade Wallet and let me know what you think. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be releasing a lot more crypto content in the coming weeks. I've got a lot more stuff coming about Python, about Django, about NFTs, about jargon busters and things like that. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop me a comment, and let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.